Mediation and moderation models are very common in social sciences and they are often combined and there is a large body of current literature that discusses the combination or whether you should use mediation or moderation. The idea of mediation was that uh, when you have x and y, then the effect of x and y goes to a third variable called the mediator. The idea of moderation was that when you have a relationship between x and y, then uh, the strength of that relationship varies as a function of a third variable, which here is the z. So um, these two uh, effects are sometimes confused. So it may be difficult to, to make the choice of whether your uh, effect is actually a moderation effect or a mediation effect. The Baron and Kenny 1986 article uh, was written to address these concerns that researchers are, are confusing uh, that with these two, two models, so which one is appropriate for their data. It is uh, less common nowadays, but one thing that you should know is that if you are, are choosing between mediation model and a moderation model, uh, you don't have to because you can do also moderated mediation. So you can combine these variables together, these models together. So you can have a mediation model and then you can have uh, a moderation effect for all of these three paths. You could also have uh, M here moderating this direct effect, for example. So you can have, an, or you could have M moderating itself, in which case you would have uh, a U-shape effect for this relationship. So uh, it really gives you lots of options for variables, how you model them. And then you have to make a choice based on your theory. What is the, what is the most, uh, the best representation of your theoretical ideas. So what's the best model for your particular study? There is uh, yet another concern that you need to take into account. The concern is that uh, the mediation model is, is just identified. So if you just look at correlations, uh, then uh, the mediation model will always explain those correlations perfectly. So uh, it, is, uh, it can be tested empirically just with three variables. Another concern is that uh, just by running a regression of x and m and y, you can run the, the same mediation model uh, in six different ways, just reversing some of the regression paths. So this is the same model with just the positions of x, m and y reversed or altered. So you can't really say which one of those is correct empirically because they all produce the exact same model implied correlation matrix. Klein's, this is from Klein's paper, The Mediation Myth, and his main argument or one of the main arguments is that uh, if you do mediation, you can really only say that there's a mediation effect if you have longitudinal data sets. So you can't from a cross-sectional model data to say that this model is the correct one and for not that one because these both fit the same data equally well. Similarly, it is possible that uh, instead of this model, you have this model with a bidirectional effect. So this is called a uh, simultaneity in econometrics. It's, we don't address that now. And it's also possible that X is uh, just a common cause of M and Y, and M and Y are correlated for some other reason, but there is no direct effect between M and Y. So empirically, all of these models are equally good. So you have uh, 18 models, all of them are plausible. So which one is the best for you? That's where your theory comes to play. So you have to theoretically argue, unless you have longitudinal data, you have to theoretically argue that your model is, is one of these, or one of these, or one of these, and not the other one. And that's, uh, that can be difficult to do. Mediation testing is, is an active topic, and mediation model uh, estimation is an active topic. So every year there are more new papers and more techniques coming. And there are the practices in mediation and moderation testing are, are, are changing. So uh, one good way for, for mediation is to go to David Kenny's website and that maintains uh, a list of up-to-date sources for some of the recent discussions in mediation. So should you use Baron and Kenny, should you use bootstrapping or should you use uh, the Sobel test? Uh, different perspectives on these problems exist and uh, David Kenny's website contains a good list of references uh, for some of the most central arguments. Here are some, and also if you do a mediation model, I recommend that you search organizational resource methods uh, for the term mediation and see uh, what is the current practice in organizational resource.
there are at least one or two articles that come out each year that address media. So because this is such an important topic.